Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for all signs, so remember, it may or may not resonate with everybody. And it is for Wednesday the 26th or around then, Wednesday the 26th of May 2021. Remember my readings can resonate for a few days longer than when they're released, especially the dailies or the weekend messages. Okay, so I'm just going to pull some cards and see what we get. And then we'll pull an oracle card at the end. So what is the message, please, for Wednesday the 26th of May? Angel Spirits Guides, what do people need to hear the most? What do people need to hear the most, please? Wednesday the 26th of May 2021. Okay. Standard Rider Waite deck I'm using here. Okay, let's see what we have. Wow, so I've got Judgment and we have Temperance. The Wheel of Fortune is what is guiding you, your foundation, crowning thoughts, we have the High Priestess. I've got literally one, two, three, four major arcana here. Immediate past, we have the Queen of Cups. Immediate future, the Seven of Cups. Fears, emotional concerns, we have the Knight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles is your environment. Page of Cups is your hopes, dreams, wishes, and your outcome, we have the Three of Cups. It's getting to that point here for some of you. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is change. Um, I mean, it is a card of good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It is a card of turning points. Uh, wanting to turn something around or seeing if something can be turned around, I'm feeling. Uh, it feels, can something be salvaged here in some way? Because the judgment is crossing. The, there is an energy of, it can be about making some kind of judgment call in the sense, do I give somebody a second chance or do I go my own way? And it's getting to that point where can something be turned around or do I, you know, move forward? You know, how do I restore balance in the situation? What are my beliefs having gone through some kind of experience? Um, can we find a way through? The temperance is about adapting, finding your way through. Uh, Germany is opposing extremes, uh, difficulty, and restoring balance in a situation. But having learnt some, learnt from some kind of experiences to the point where it, 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 your beliefs are are reformulated, your core beliefs, your core values are reset. You know, in some way, shape, or form, from the experience that you've been through. I don't know whether you've changed your opinion of somebody, um, but if there's still enough value to hold on to this person, I'm, I'm getting this kind of energy. And the High Priestess is saying, only you know. You know, your intuition is bang on. Only you know in this situation. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is something that stays with you. It's our immediate response, our immediate gut reaction, our inner knowing energy. But there's definitely an energy with the High Priestess of know the enlightenment comes from within. This is about trusting your intuition on which way you want to go in a situation here. Because for some of you, it feels like you're at some kind of crossroads where you're kind of thinking, how do I bring change to a situation? Do I, do I give somebody a second chance or do I go my own way? The Wheel of Fortune is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. And how do I move forward? You know, how am I going to move forward? Um, yeah. 
Queen of Cups in the immediate past, this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. I mean, it can also be somebody who you're closely connected to, can be a mother energy or um, a family member, can be in terms of friendship, but it's somebody that, you know, you're deeply connected to. Again, it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships too. So it feels for some of you, you are, again, she can be an intuitive energy as well. But it feels that there are some emotional experiences that you've been through with somebody and you're just kind of at that crossroads where you're wondering, can I turn something around or, you know, do I embrace new possibilities here? It just feels like somebody is like, OK, which way do I go? And the high priestess is telling you your inner knowing knows best. The Seven of Cups is about choices, making some choices or decisions. Sometimes there can be confusion with this energy. And again, there's an energy of choose wisely. But this person chooses from a point of trusting their intuition. Cups energy is all about our intuition, our inner knowing, what feels right. Sometimes we don't know why it feels right. It just feels right to go in a specific direction, to make specific choices. You know, the answer is definitely within you. Um, it's how our divine energy, how the divine, the universe, God, spirits, angels, guides speak through us, through our intuition, dream energy as well. Some of you, there could be dreams here. Also, don't discount daydreaming. I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous, but, you know, there can be an energy of daydreaming here as well, um, of how you want the future to look. Because remember, this is hopes, dreams and wishes ahead. So again, in this, this kind of energy, if this is your intuition speaking to you in some way, shape or form in order to make some clear choices, decisions on how you move forward. Your fears are you don't want to act so impulsively that you make the wrong decision. And there is definitely an energy with the Knight of Wands. Don't act impulsively. Make sure that you are fully clear in terms of the choices that you make before you make them. Because that judgment card is saying whatever choice you make is going to stay with you for quite some time. And remember, judgment, when judgment appears, our choices have consequences, both good and bad, you know, because it stays with us. Um, so there's definitely an energy of don't act too impulsively here. Um, don't act out of anger don't act out of because the situation is demanding an answer from you don't be rushed into something um don't you know shoot from the hip and and be impulsive it's not a time to be impulsive and that's what the energies are saying because you know you could choose wrongly here your environment we have the six of pentacles i mean this is a kind of giving and receiving energy reaching some kind of and i'm feeling in this energy that if this is to do with another person in your life, like I said, it could be friend, family, love, you know, uh, in love. Um, there's a kind of meeting somebody halfway here. Remember, we see the, the scales being balanced here. It's, it's a kind of energy of exchange, you know. The idea with the Six of Pentacles is that you don't put in more or you don't give more or receive more than you give to somebody else everything has to be in balance so what you receive you equally give and that's that kind of energy of if there has been some imbalance in how someone's felt valued or who's putting what into this relationship whatever this relationship is um you know uh, someone's taken advantage of you know all of these kind of things can represent the downside of someone not being in balance not feeling that they're receiving more than they're giving it can be about addressing that in your environment yeah now here we have the page of cups the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change i just feel this is a white flag energy this is a peace energy somebody making peace somebody uh offering a positive change, things looking up, um, a loving gesture, a message of love, uh, a surprising action, you know, that brings joy, that changes everything. It just feels, um, there's a feeling that somebody is prepared to put in the work here to meet you halfway. So there's definitely an energy before you make choices and decisions, and there's a kind of lack of clarity here, it might well be that there is some kind of exchange, conversation, um, 
before there's an it feels like someone might be inclined to act impulsively for whatever reason you know there is some kind of opportunity to bring light and happiness to a situation so it feels maybe an apology a loving gesture a gift um, like I said, it can be a number of things, but it feels like things have the opportunity to be retrieved in this situation. Because there is a coming together. This can be with friendship. This can be obviously with family. Your, it can be a kind of community, your tribe. You know, we have friendships, we have family, you know, we have other areas of our life in terms of... Um, you know, you know, our tribes, our communities. So this is a coming together. This is communication brings celebration. Uh, communication, open communication brings emotional uh, unity. And that's what I'm feeling. That is what I'm feeling here. It feels, yes, there is an opportunity to turn something around and that's what the universe is telling you here in this foundation. Um, and that's what certainly they're trying to speak you and nudge you in a specific direction and feeling in this. It, it just feels, you know, very, very kind of like um, it's, a, it's a clear sign from the universe. that It feels something can be turned around here, but there's a message of not to act too impulsively. Because being grounded, patient, doing what the Earth energy represents here brings stability, security. It's a Taurus energy. Um, back into alignment here in your environment. And I feel for some of you that was out of balance. It might well be somebody took more than they gave or took you for granted or didn't value you and uh, in whatever situation, but it, it feels that there's an opportunity to write that. Uh, someone's meeting you halfway and there is the happy outcome here in your hopes, dreams and wishes resulting in an outcome of that communication absolutely brings unity. So that is what I have for you. I'm going to pull you a fairy card by Karen Kay. These are by Karen Kay, I think. What do we have? Okay, thank you. So we have the first card is inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a, receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. And the other card I have for you, yeah, <laughs> magical gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. I just feel that there's something coming in here that is going to bring change to a situation because I feel both parties want to meet each other halfway. It's just who is going to take action here. And again, this can be a card of action, doing something about it. Um, action brings change with the Knight of Wands, but not too impulsively because he's very impulsive. He's fire and fire energy, um, all fired up, you know, and can be a little bit overwhelming, impulsive. So there's just this energy of, of ground, whatever action you take, ground it. Um, practical, steady, patient. Um, stay with the facts, you know, don't get all, you know, heated. Um, and I do feel in this situation, it feels like it's retrievable. Something has a, an opportunity to turn something around here. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful uh, day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.